Hello, my darlings. My name is Victoria, and this is Veritas Tarot Cancer. I'm going to be doing your 2022 reading this evening. I'm going to be doing it in three parts. We're going to be looking at sort of overall where you are uh, and then messages from spirit for you, uh, sort of the big messages that spirit has for you. Then we're going to be looking at your uh, love and relationships, and then we're going to be looking at career and life path. All of it may resonate with you if the messages are intended for you, or just one or two of the different parts of the reading may resonate with you, my darling. If it doesn't resonate, it simply means that it was not for you at this time. There'll always be a reading out there for you to exactly the right time as guided by spirit. Just before I start, I just wanted to say that tomorrow night I am again my, I've got my regular slot, my live reading uh, tomorrow at 9 p.m. GMT time. That's 9 p.m. London GMT time. This is my Evening with Spirit, your questions answered. And I do a general reading for the energies, those that are watching. And then I also am reading for those that Spirit intends to watch later on. And, uh, and then I really devote most of the time, it tends to be about two hours, to answering and pulling cards for as many questions as possible from those that are watching in the comments. So do join me if you are able. That's tomorrow at 9 p.m. GMT. I will put an announcement. I always do an announcement about it. Check your time zones. They are in the description box for it as well. But anyway, I look forward to seeing as many of you that are able to join me as possible. So my darlings, let's move forward with your reading. This is for Cancer, the 2022 spirit for those that most need to hear the message. Thank you, what popped out for you. So this is the energy oracle deck that I'm starting off first of all. And you've got this man holding a coin has popped out for you. So this is either you in that masculine or feminine energy, but it can also relate to somebody that uh, you feel connected to at this time and their energy is all around you. Um, this is kind of assistance of somebody. This is assistance that you may be needing at this time in, in order to create or manifest something that you're looking at doing it could be relating to somebody who's giving you financial assistance at this time but whatever it is my darling it's very very sage advice so be open to receiving it be open to the guidance that you're given you know the universe works in wonderful and mysterious ways and god's messengers appear in many many forms and this is a messenger such as that for you be open to this um, because you've also got anxiety on the bottom of the deck and i just want to show you this card here anxiety so there is something that is really bothering you at this time you're feeling a certain amount of distress about where you are right now and it's causing you um, a lot of discomfort and when we're in that space it's very difficult sometimes am i getting the message to see the wood for the trees so you have been putting out there that you need some help and this is what's coming towards you now or already has come in now but i want you to look at this card can you see through the windows, although that the, the, the lightning is there, the storm is, is passing. So the worst of this is over. And what's happening is that you're, you're, you're stuck in this space and, and you're almost overthinking everything. And you're causing that energy to remain in the same space. Because when we get into a space of being very anxious and worried and where attention goes, energy flows, the more attention you're giving your fears in your mind, the more you're, you're not being able to move. So this is about, it's almost like a little chink in the armor. It's almost like a little bit of sunlight that's coming through. This messenger, whoever this may be for you, um, is coming in to help you at this time. And it's, it's going to allow you to kind of, it's like releasing, relaxing and receiving. Thank you, Spirit. Releasing, relaxing and receiving. So be open to the guidance of whatever is coming in for you. Um, and it has this advice, a huge amount of, of, of value for you. You're going when you receive it, you're going to know it's going to resonate with you. When something resonates with you, um, it's not that you're learning anything new. It's just simply that your soul remembers your soul a piece of source wisdom remembers what it is that it already knows so um i'm now going to pull uh these are new cards they're a very beautiful deck uh they're called low brow tarot and they're only the major arcanas in it so i want to pull one of those for you for cancer thank you spirit thank you you know when we worry about things when we fret about things it doesn't actually solve things it just puts us in that negative space where we can't receive the answers 
Uh, and so if you can say, I am ready to receive, I am ready to release. I'm ready to relax into this. I'm ready to receive as well. Thank you, Spirit. What's come out for you? So you've got the Sun card has come out for you and the Star. Two extraordinary cards. These are all done by different artists. I'm sorry that I don't know the names of the different artists that are doing these cards, but they are really quite beautiful. So the Sun and the Star, two S's. Um, the Sun talks about wherever you are now, there's a lot of um, shifting and changing happening with you. There's a lot of deep level doing, I call it. It's like deep level healing that's happening. It may not be apparent to you, but there is a lot that's happening right now. And that's allowing you uh, to make the necessary changes in your life that you need to make from a mental, emotional place in order to, to move forward, which is what you're wanting to do. Uh, and then you've got the star card, and this also talks about deep level doing here. Um, and so the star card is, is something has happened that has caused quite a big um, effect on you. And, and it's been very upsetting, very traumatic. Um, and so the star card is a sign, and it's a sign of things changing for you, hopes, blessings, things, as you make that shift, you're making that shift energetically within yourself, you're then creating that shift vibrationally around you. And that is causing, um, it's causing things to change for you, uh, because only you can make this change within yourself. If you make the change within yourself, it causes the shifts and vibrations around you, because we are simply energy, my darling, and emotion is energy, emotion. And uh, it's really important to, to, to always remember that, because when you're in that space of understanding where energy then you understand how powerful you are. You understand how powerful your thoughts are, how powerful your words are, how we attract things towards us. The star card is a beautiful card because it's, it's showing me that you are releasing a lot of things from your life, a lot of things that you have held on to and have caused a burden for you, a weight for you, but you're releasing them now. So I, I do, um, and now I'm seeing the judgment card on the bottom of the deck and the judgment card is about this, renewal for you it's a rebirth card it's a second chance it's it's a moment it's a sort of moment in your life like a pivotal moment where you can make one decision or another decision and I believe for you this is a decision for you that you're not going to um, almost receive what you're receiving at the moment in terms of you don't want to be in this space you don't want to be saying this is somebody else's fault you don't want to be the victim in this you want to evolve from this and grow from this and release whatever this energy is that's that's there um and this is why this man holding a coin this messenger has come in this is divine timing this is god's messenger coming in for you so i'm going to leave those cards there um and we are going to also pull for you uh my uh beautiful diana cooper animal cards to see what other messages are for you right now thank you spirit so what has come out for you you've got the panda and the bee so the panda is staying saying to you stay balanced and in your essence not everything is as um, black and white as it may seem. There's a lot of other things that are happening at this time and it will all make sense for you. And staying balanced and in your essence means within your divine essence. It's a reminder that however lonely you may feel at this time, you, you, you are so connected all the time to the universe, to source energy. That is your soul, my darling. You are the I am experiencing. You are a soul having a physical experience. Um, and you are not really your mind and body. You are the soul. And, and it's about being in your essence means about you understanding your connection to source energy, understanding that your soul has signed up for this path for whatever um, reasons, whatever divine reasons uh, that your soul has chosen. So we, we choose our life path. We choose, um, for the most part, what's going to happen on our life path. And the sole purpose, our soul's sole purpose is to evolve, is to remember, to remember that it is a part of all it is. It is a remembering of it. And when, we're, when we are going through particularly difficult times, those times are given to us in order for us to make those bigger, biggest changes, those biggest shifts and to let go and release things that really just 
And I'm talking about conditioned behaviors, reactions to things that really just don't help us. And that's what this star card is representing. Um, and then you've got here the B, spread heart healing with joy. So the B is an extraordinary um, creature. It doesn't shouldn't really be able to fly but does and spirit is saying you can you will you will move from this there is community around you that is wishing to help you at this time um and just just literally kind of imagining yourself kind of almost going from flower to flower just just know that it's one sort of step at a time but there's definitely community you've 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 made some there's been some change there's been i think physical change location change for you as well but your soul family your soul tribe may not have appeared just yet and sometimes people have to leave your life in order for those that are intended for you to come into your life and that's the message i'm picking up for you um, at this time and now i'm going to pull uh, some more energy cards these are the sacred destiny oracle thank you spirit let me just put those two there move those out of the way and let's uh do your sacred destiny oracle and see what other messages that spirit has for you my darling thank you that's uh has come out any other message thank you spirit going forward yes of course um so let's have a look at these two cards for you so you've got simplicity um the beautiful white feather uh spirit is saying with this card keep it simple um okay so going back to energy we're all energy well where we live is also an extension of that energy so if there is some decluttering that you need to do, some de-energizing of things, getting rid of things that have an old energy to them, things that maybe represent things for you that cause you unhappiness, it's time to, to declutter. And that allows your mind to also declutter and it allows your soul, your, your intuition to talk to you. You're allowing the space for that to come in. And you know, even just a small clearing up makes a huge, huge difference. You know how good you feel when you sort of tackle something and then you get it done and it's all looking beautifully and clean and tidy. So that it's that feeling of relief that you get. Um, it's a time for you, my darling, to, to put as a priority um, a lot of rest for yourself. Uh, this is a quiet time for you. And it's an opportunity for you to start to really connect uh, with yourself. We all, you know, as a, as a species, we have a tendency to ignore our intuition. We don't trust it. And Spirit is saying now's a time for you to trust anything that's weird and wonderful that's happening, any kind of synchronicities, any kind of coincidences that you may call them, they're God incidences, they're all intended as messages for you. So do trust in what you are receiving at the time. And this shift in your perception about things uh, and allowing yourself to receive uh, what it is that spirit wants you to receive at this time. And it all starts with that piece of advice for you. If something resonates, it's your soul remembering. It's going to allow almost a doorway to open and for you to kind of go forward. Spirit is saying this is about you moving forward at this time, however hard it may be for you to do so. Um, and as you move forward, you're shifting the energy to start to for things to start to evolve around you and to grow and expand. You've got in this card, um, you know, sort of sort of grassy hills, grassy meadows and grass kind of represents things that are happening and growing without us even noticing but they're so vital you know grass is the food for so many animals it's a place where we rest and relax and enjoy walk dogs etc so things are growing and expanding so keep taking those steps forward um so that's where uh we are energetically um in terms of what spirit wanted to say to you i'm now going to move on to love and relationships for you now this may or may not resonate it all depends on who spirit wants to reach with messages and if the messages do resonate you're not learning anything new remember you are remembering you are remembering what your soul already knows so i'm gonna first of all pull this is for love and relationships i'm first of all gonna pull the uh angel love what are these cards i can't remember now um the romance angels thank you spirit so i'm gonna pull these for cancer thank you 2022 there is 
change for you, darling. There is change, and change is such an amazing thing because we all um, almost have been taught to fear change, uh, but actually change is that step forward on the bridge to take us to the next stage of our life path and it is always for our greatest good thank you for cancer so you've got here um unrequited love there's not enough attractional chemistry to keep this relationship going and so if this is the space where you're sitting with this anxiety and you're feeling trapped and you you um are going through a huge healing process it's very very difficult but when you're in that place of unrequited love when you're in that place where something hasn't worked out that you obviously had every wish and hope that it would work out even for a moment my darling if you can accept that your soul intended for this to happen and that their soul did too and that underneath all the choppiness underneath all of the what's going on on the surface underneath are two souls who are giving gifts to each other and their gift to you is for you to come into a, a place of peace and understanding and letting go of things um, and into the beauty of who you are simply because you you've you understand that you don't need anybody else to fulfill you and sometimes when we enter relationships and we we meet somebody and they are kind of the center of everything for us all we are doing is projecting onto them the need for us to to feel love and if we don't have self-love we're looking for it outside of ourselves and um spirit universe your soul will close the door on things when it is necessary to do so in order for you not to remain in a space that is actually causing you more hurt more harm more despair than if you were solo alone but not lonely because it's all about you connecting with yourself and so the door gets closed and their soul's gift to you is for you to release and let go of things because stunning the love that you're looking is not going to come outside of yourself it never is because if you don't love yourself then you're projecting out how can anybody love me um and so spirit is asking you to even for a moment just accept that this isn't this is not meant to be it may be not meant to be now but it may be later maybe there are shifts and changes that they need to go through but it's, it's understanding and accepting and respecting that you are exactly where you're meant to be right now there are things that you are doing so much in a healing and there are things that they need to do as well. It's about understanding and respecting their path too, and not trying to force something to happen, not trying to hold on to it because nothing is ours to keep. Nothing is ours to keep. It is all fleeting. And you will feel in letting go and just letting the universe guide you and saying, if it's intended for me, it will be for me. If it's not, it's not. And there's something even more amazing down the road. Um, keep moving forward keep moving forward even if it's energetically um, so let's just pull some more cards on this for you I'm going to start with my little witch's tarot uh, which is a um, and I've got a little mini tarot deck here thank you spirit about unrequited love thank you advice for cancer messages for cancer thank you very different these little mini cards to pull so we'll see what comes out for you thank you there we go so you've got the page of cups and that little card wanted to come out as well page of cups and you've got the the sun again has come out for you and you've got the seven of wands five of wands and the eight of wands thank you spirit um, I do, I oh, think you end that card too, the six of wands. Okay, very lovely. Um, I do feel that um, you've got here, this page of cups has come out. Sorry, I haven't switched my phone off here. Um, with this page of cups, the more you move forward, pages are about transitional times. Uh, this isn't actually about an apology coming in for you. It's not about that. It's about you making the transition into a place of what makes you happy 
um, this is this is this sort of space where you're you're going to tap into your um, your kind of create. We were created to create. And one of the lovely messages that Spirit has given me is that our creative expression is an individual representation of our soul's physical experience. Every time that you desire to do something, you yearn to do it, you have a leaning towards it, you're very good at doing it, you love to, in this card, paint. But whatever it is that's your creative expression, my darling spirit saying, do it. Do it because it's allowing you to move forward. And in that space, you find peace. And in that space, you relax. And therefore, you receive. You start to receive your own insights, your soul speaking to you, the divine speaking to you. And then things resonate. And then you feel relief. Then you feel at peace. And then you are making the necessary adjustments. And that's bringing in this deep healing for you. This is, again, the sun card. You have, again, so much community around you. And if they haven't appeared, soul family, soul tribe, they are coming. They are coming, you know, to help you. And it's going to help uh, those messages that they give as well. And I feel this man holding a coin is part of this. And this could be a female with a masculine in that masculine energy. But I feel it's a male. And they're going to come and offer something that's going to help you, as I said, make this shift. Whatever it is, darling, this is the seven of wands. I feel like you're feeling there's an awful lot of attention focused on you at this time and that people are not necessarily understanding the space that you are at. It may be that they feel that you should have moved on by now and they're trying to give you advice or whatever decisions you're making, they are questioning it. Whatever that may mean for you, Spirit is saying you don't need to defend yourself. Um, if you are sitting in a space of understanding and knowing what you have done and why you've done it, you don't need to explain it to anybody else because you and only you have direct perception of your soul's intentions, pure intentions. You and only you have direct perception of your life, nobody else. And actually, you know, others may be seeing it from their lens of life. That may be cloudy. They may be not um, energetically in a space where, you know, don't don't kind of uh, what's the expression spirit? Thank you. Don't sort of judge yourself based on somebody else's energetic space. So if they are a little bit joyless, don't judge yourself on that. But don't feel the need to defend yourself. You can express yourself beautifully. Um, and that is what spirit is saying here. You can express yourself with love for yourself. You can express yourself with compassion and understanding. But if you find yourself start being defensive about things, just step away from it. You don't need to. You don't need to explain. Um, and that's the seven of wands. Um, but it's about you being very determined now uh, about what it is that feels right for you to do. And spirit is saying, stay away at this time from a lot of... Um, other energies that are bringing you down, try and stay away from sometimes even watching the news, stay, stay away from kind of gossipy people, stay away from energies or people that want to talk about the negative things, because that whole, you know, as energy, when we give our attention to something, more energy flows towards that. So the more you're in a space of negativity or responding to negativity, the more you are attracting it towards you. So just make that effort. I think you've always been somebody that people talk to, um, but now's the time for you. You need quiet at the moment. You need to put yourself first. You need to say no, my darling, more than you're doing. And Spirit is saying, you know, focus instead on where attention goes, energy flows. You know, wands represent our desires, our, our, our um what we are, you know, our passions, our desires, what it is, is our creative expression, our soul speaking to us. And if you're, uh, be very thoughtful at the moment about where your thoughts are going, because those three tools of creation are what you think, say, and do now you're placing in your, placing in the future. And you've got here this tornado happening here. And it's sort of, you feel that everything is very disruptive at the moment. Everything has sort of always been turned on its head. It's, it's sort of been destroyed. But actually, what's amazing is about 
or tornado that comes in, it kind of clears things. Yes, and it is very destructive and it is does destroy things, but at the same time, it creates new opportunities for growth. Um, you know, animals that may not have had shelter before suddenly have shelter. Things that may have, you know, a building that may have stood there for a while being derelict, some, some, then something comes in and, and then people build a new building that's better than the last one. So there's always opportunity that comes from it. And although there, it is disruptive this time, spirit wants you to focus rather than, because you can you see here, you've got actually she's holding up. This is the seven of wands here, which is where you freely you're having to defend and protect yourself. Um, and then you've got, uh, then you had the five of wands as well, which is about negative energies. Now in this eight of wands, she's holding onto one wand here and those other seven wands are kind of floating around. So focused your intent on what it is that you are putting out there, you're wishing or manifesting at this time. Focus on the big picture see through and understand that whatever's happening on the surface right now, there's a lot more going on behind the scenes, trust me. And, and the universe is your friend and everything is happening for you at this time, not to you. It's happening for you in order for you to make a massive shift and to shift into this next amazing cycle of your life. This is big for you in 2022. And Spirit is saying, Drown out the noise, drown out the negativity, say no, ignore it, and focus on this big picture. Put your attention, put your focus, this is the wand, it is about the focus of your attention purely on the positive, purely on the visualization of what it is that you're wishing for. And trust, the universe has already said yes, you just haven't seen it yet, but ignoring everything else. And then you are going to be victorious. So this is in regards to love. So whatever it is, and whatever this um, unrequited love is, darling, it's not meant for you. The universe has closed the door and there will be a reason for it and it will all become clear. But you're being asked to move forward now. Trust, trust in your soul, trust in the universe, trust in God, move forward. You're getting signs about this as well. Do you remember the feather? Get rid of things in your house that may be associated with this relationship uh, pack them away put them away give them away whatever it is and move forward with the understanding that if you take that first step you have to help yourself if you take that first step everything else starts to fall into plan uh, let me also see and that's the six of wands and that is this card of you know being victorious being successful but it's, it's a really lovely card, this Six of Wands, because you are such a giving person and you're able to, you, you're coming into a space of being able to give and receive love um, and knowing that actually people are so admiring you for the place you're in, the energy you're in, what you've achieved, what you've gone through and your sense of purpose and your sense of, uh, compassion as well so it's a very very lovely energy thank you what else spirit with the regarding love and relationships and this this um thank you too many cards and there's a six of di uh, discs sister pentacles which obviously is about coming into balance my darling thank you spirit this is a new deck for me it's called intuitive heart it was given to me by a friend um a lovely friend for my birthday. So you've got the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. You've got the Six of Swords. So I'm going to talk about this overall energy now. Spirit, this is about moving forward, the Six of Swords. Um, so during this next year, there is a lot of hermit mode for you. There is a lot of reflection. There is a lot of releasing that's going to happen for you. But you're not going to let it's almost like the weight of your past they're saying the weight of your past is going to transcend into something completely different so those birds kind of represent the crows the secrets the darkness that you're going through but they're not they're actually lifting you up so the weight of everything is going to fall away and it's changing into love self-love for yourself and um whether you've been through more than one unrequited love, and this is what I'm seeing here, you're leaving it behind, you're letting the weight of that sadness drop away and you're moving forward. This is 2022 in love. You're moving forward and you're following a path that is not intended. 
you're not looking for somebody you're just following your path knowing that whatever is meant to be is going to literally appear for you and the spirit is saying here you're causing and creating this my darling this is the magician so be very aware again of your thoughts tread thoughtfully Try not to pull yourself back if you find yourself stepping into a space where you're overanalyzing everything and overthinking things. Just let it go. Go off and do something creatively. Go off and do what it is that you love to do. This is the magician. And then you've got the wheel of fortune here. So this is a reminder that everything is in divine law, divine timing, um, that if you can observe everything happening for you, not to you, uh, and look for everything that is an obstacle what is it what opportunity what growth what lessons learned have you taken from it then you can stand in the middle of this wheel and you can observe it happening for you, you can see that it, it is all happening at exactly the right time it's meant to people appear in your life people falling away opportunities everything is happening now the wheel also talks about don't necessarily think this is as, as a straight path as you, you are intending it for it to be. Because the wheel is always about expect the unexpected. Spirit's got a little surprise up its sleeve. So do expect the unexpected. And be prepared, my darling, to fly in a new direction. Literally be prepared to fly in a new direction. This is a rebirth for you, 2022. It is a complete change for you This that you are much more perceptive of things you are standing outside of yourself much more and being much more aware of observing and watching what is happening um, rather than being stuck in that anxiety space where you're stuck in your mind you're almost stepping outside of your mind which is such a beautiful thing to do to step into the observation mode and saying okay why is this happening for me what am I meant to take from this and in doing so that wheel is turning uh, for you so I, I think that's a lovely um, although the space you're in at the moment, my darling, is not feeling very comfortable, there is change happening for you uh, in 2022. And uh, just keep those storm cl clouds you see there, they've passed, they've gone. They've gone. They're going. Uh, they're not a, they're not going to affect you. You're going to feel you're going to feel different. Uh, so that's with regards love. Um, now I'm going to be looking at at uh, your, I'm just keeping an eye on the time so I can do a timestamp for you. Now I'm going to be focusing on uh, your life path, your career, where you are right now. So again, this may resonate with you. It may not. Will it just, it, maybe it's just this piece that resonates with you, but let's have a look. So what have we got here? We've got the Knight of Cups. And we've got the devil card and we've got temperance okay and on the bottom of the deck we've got the five of swords so what spirit is saying this wherever you are now there is things that are making you again uncomfortable with your with your career with your life path you're not in a particularly happy space with it um and I think you're talking too much about that negativity again, because this is the five of swords. So you're giving attention to things where there isn't anything that actually is there. So it's your perception of it that's causing you to feel wounded and hurt and you're ready to fight about things. Um, so don't try not to respond, try not to react to things at this time, because a reaction is simply a reaction. So spirit is saying, watch yourself and uh, watch your words and watch how you get triggered and how you react to things. Try and do it from a, pro a kind of step back, observe, which you're starting to do, and then respond from a place which you understand, where you're understanding what your response is, where it's coming from. You're doing it with understanding. So that's a big message for you on the bottom of the deck. And then you've got here the Knight of Cups, you've got uh, the Devil card here, and you have also got... Uh, temperance so there is all that's stopping you at this moment in time from a shift and change in terms of where you are and where you want to be on your career or life path is your belief in yourself okay this is your belief in yourself um the devil card talks about where we have really 
misjudged we've told ourselves things we've told ourselves stories we don't feel we have the confidence we don't feel that this is something that we can do we have that imposter syndrome we're telling ourselves the same thing over and over and over and over again and that's what the mind does because that's what the mind is trained to do and the mind simply retains information from this lifetime so all it can do is tell itself the same story over and over and over and over again and it believes it I'm so sorry, I'm just going to ignore that. I'm so sorry. I need to turn my phone off. Um, sorry about that. I must put my phone on silent in a second. So uh, Spirit is saying, please start trusting your intuition. That is soul, that is your soul talking to you. That is God talking to you. That is divine wisdom. There is something you're not listening to at this time. And what it's doing, because I want to show you these cards is, so you've got the Knight of Cups, then you've got the devil, okay? And then after the devil, you've got the temperance card. So it's, it's kind of causing a block between what is movement coming your way and where you're meant to be on your life path that is the temperance card um and that shift that you can make within yourself about saying okay i am exactly where i'm meant to be right now whatever this is it's difficult for you say to yourself what is it that i'm meant to learn from this because sometimes when we go through you know i can look back on my career life path and understand now why I, although I didn't at the time, why I did various roles in my life. And it's all brought me here today. And I understand now, but there were very difficult situations during that and things that I had to go through. And it was about me trying to control things all the time and trying to make things happen, where actually now I understand about it's if I did, did less doing and more being, because sometimes in order for things to happen, yes, we have to do certain things to make, to, to kind of move it along, keep moving forward. But actually to make things happen is simply that belief in ourselves and the belief that the universe is working in our favor. And actually to sit back and relax and let it in, to allow it. Because otherwise we're putting up resistance and we're trying to force something to happen that might not be intended for us. So the Knight of Cups is about movement and it's about something that is emotionally means something to you and this knight of cups is going along um, a winding river so things have taken twists and turns for you with your career and life path and it's something that's frustrated you a little bit but it's all been intended because you are meant to have done that so try and now look back on that with a different perspective and say okay what did i take from that what did i take from that experience what did i take from that difficult person what did I take from that success? And it's about you coming into the full beauty of who you are in terms of being very proud of yourself and say, my goodness, I did that and I did that and I did. It's a reminder for yourself. Spirit is reminding you um, and um, entrusting in your, your, your kind of own creative expression, whatever it is that you love to do, my darling. And then you've got this wonderful temperance card, which is, yes, it's about patience. But temperance is about coming into balance and it's about trusting that the universe, when we manifest, we're causing and creating. And when it's a big manifest, you know, this is this is a, a major arcana here. It's normally not just us manifesting on our own. It's other souls causing and creating it too for us. So there's a kind of collaboration as things going on behind the scenes. And that is what Spirit's saying with, with this card. There is something, and that's why you've you've also got the wheel of fortune that had come out for you too. So, but just rise above, thank you, Spirit. Rise above whatever it is that you think is happening to you at this time in this environment that you're in, and flip it that actually it's happening for you because it's helping you to not react to things and not to be triggered so much by things. Um, so let's have a look. I'm now going to use my new, a lot of witches stuff going on, because I have, uh, what have I got here? I've got the, um, what is that? The witches tarot I'm now using. I've got the everyday witch and I have got to one side, the witch's wisdom. So it's quite a funny spirit. Uh, and I didn't realize that. So let's pull up the witches tarot. It's just a little mini deck again. 
And let's have a look for you, my darling, about uh, a, a little bit from, sorry, I can't speak, little, a few more messages for you on career and life path. Thank you for cancer. Thank you. There we are, that wanted to come out. Look at this, the king and the queen of wands and the ace of pentacles. Uh, so, and on the bottom of the deck, the two of pentacles. I really feel that overriding message. Do you remember about the, the, the man holding the coin coming to you? Um, is what it's to do with this ace of pentacles. So this is a message. This is a gift. This is an offering. This is a, a, a kind of 3D physical reality experience of things that you're looking to manifest. You're going to see it. You're going to know that it's happening. You're going to believe it. You're going to actually be very amazed by the timing of it as well. This is an ace of pentacles. It always happens, my darling, in divine timing. And you see there what I'm, it's, it's almost like there's grass there. So it's something that you're not seeing now. It's kind of there. You're not observant of it. We all take grass for granted. And that's what spirit's saying to me. So just be all be very aware at the moment that there is something there for you and if it hasn't come in yet it is coming in for you and then you've got this two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck don't be overwhelmed by the decision that you're looking to make at this time try not to worry about it if something is intended for you and this is intended for you then there is nothing that you need to do. You just ask, you're being asked to make whatever choices you're looking to make from a place of trust and hope, not fear, because fear attracts fear. So make the choice that you know it feels right for you and it makes you feel relieved. And that's going to allow that movement. Keep going forward, spirit saying, keep going forward. And then you've got this amazing king and queen of wands. So I really feel that this is something that's going to be in partnership with somebody who is equally, and that's why you had uh, the B. Didn't you have the B at the beginning? It's about community as well and building together, building some form of community together that's for the greatest good of others as well. And so whatever this is with this king and queen of wands, uh, this is a really balanced, fantastic partnership where you are both directing your focus and your energy in the right way and you are causing and creating together beautifully so this is a wonderful offer that's coming in i'm seeing spring here um i'm seeing that it's going to be that sort of do you see she's sort of got the sun there um and you've got the sunflower there behind her so this is again somebody who is soul tribe somebody who gets you somebody who you get somebody that you feel like you've known forever when well, you have you've had many past lifetimes this is a soul to soul connection and it makes you do you see it's actually very sweet i'm just noticing because this is the first time i've been using these cards it makes can you see the king of wands is laughing there and content as well and so are you it makes you're both very happy with this and i really really like that and what's lovely is i was going to say the two of pentacles and the ace of pentacles make the three of pentacles which is a whole new beautiful foundation for yourself something solid from which to grow from and that's why spirit is saying temperance let this happen in divine timing with the wheel of fortune and now look what's on the bottom of the deck you've got the three of pentacles there so this is divinely led this is the foundation for you it is going to take some work you are going to sometimes feel like you're burning the candle at both ends. Uh, you've got this feather here, uh, which is that guidance from spirit, but that creative expression of yours is very important. Maybe you are some, maybe you are a writer, but allow your creative expression to flow. Spirit saying, don't think too much about it. Just go with literally go with the flow, um, and. Uh, and then you've got the water there. So this is emotionally very fulfilling. And, and also the water talks about um, this cleansing that you need to do at this time. Just sort of get rid of the old, get rid of the old. Um, don't worry. Just don't worry about things. If things are not happening, they're not meant to. Everything, this Ace of Pentacles is a beautiful, beautiful thing. And if it has already come in for you, and that's why you're in that Two of Pentacles space, then don't be overwhelmed by this. Just trust this is the direction forward for you. So, my darling, I hope 
that has helped uh, with whoever this reading has resonated with. I look forward to seeing as many of you as are able to join me tomorrow uh, evening doing my lives at nine o'clock GMT. Um, and uh, I will be looking to do your reading in December for you. Um, within the next couple of weeks, I'm doing a lot of Aragata readings at the moment, which are my readings uh, for charity. Uh, so if you wish to have a reading and you haven't been able to so far with me, the Narragata reading is give what you can and receive a free online reading with me. It'll be about 30 minutes long and all donations are going to Help for Homeless, which is a charity based here in the UK. Very small, fabulous charity. Um, and Arigato means thank you in Japanese, Arigato, uh, but it is about the giving and receiving a flow of energy. So if you would like a reading with me, they are, I am got a lot of readings to be booked up in December. Um, and uh, so do try and find a time. There are a few times left, so do have a look over the next, I think, couple of weeks. Anyway, my darlings, take care. And I look forward to reading for you again soon. Bye-bye. Lots of love.